just showing you a quick video of how to get a space echo open so that we can check the reverb tank out. Um, so first thing to do is get rid of the lid. Um, so if you put it on its back here, like this, you'll see we have a set of screws here. Um, so we'll start off by getting those out. Sit it back down flat again now. So once you've done the screws on the bottom, you're on to these little brackets on the side now. Another over on this side. Um, so you can start by unscrewing them. Sometimes this little section can be a little sticky here, so if you just press your thumb on there and kind of pull the case away, it'll unstick. That'll slide straight out there. Same again on the other side. Give that a little bit of a crack. That'll come out nicely. There we go. All the screws are now removed. <clears throat> so, this next part, you've got to be particularly careful with. Now it's about actually lifting the unit out of the case. So, grab both palms like that and lift straight out. Being careful not to tug too hard, otherwise you'll pull these cables out even further. And rest it on the corner, just like that, with one hand always on top of it, so that you're not going to let it slip off. Um, so, now you can see the reverb tank here. Okay, so once you've done that, putting it back together is exactly the same process, just in reverse. Um, so, first thing I like to do is get that power cable out the back compartment, out of the way, so that you don't crush anything when you drop it back down. Same technique, uh, both palms on the corners of the face. Lower that straight back down. The most important thing here is to make sure the uh, phono cables aren't getting caught or trapped on anything when you're lowering that back down. Sometimes you might have to kind of, you know, uh, push push them back basically um, just before you start lowering down so just make sure they're nice and out of the way and you want to start by putting the brackets back on again and then the bottom screws um, so the brackets go inwards this way face inwards uh, and it's good to line them both up in position before you start screwing them in otherwise you can uh, Sometimes find that you lock it in a bit too tight on one side and you can't angle it up on the other side. Uh, so get that done, screws back in, screws back on the bottom. And when you come to screw in on the bottom as well, make sure you don't over tighten uh, because it can actually sort of dig into the case uh, a little more than necessary. So just make sure, um, make sure you don't go too tight on those. And that is everything.